What it is, what's up? Got your video in the cut. A um, couple of just nice notes before we even get into the content of this video. Uh, one, I'm recording this with my AirPods, Matt's uh, headphones, uh, and the mic that's in that list. I wanted to see how it would sound for a full length video. Um, I am of the opinion that the AirPod Matt's mic, at least the AirPod Matt's one, I don't know when there'll be a two. The mic is decidedly worse than the AirPod Pros, which I also own. Um, the AirPod Pros, I believe, came out after the AirPod Max. I could be wrong about that. At least the AirPod Pro won. Um, so I just fucking hate the, the mic, and I want to see how bad it is. My um, my neighbors above are jobless assholes, basically. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being jobless. I hate my job. But I say that because they might be loud as fuck. And there's nothing I can do because they're always fucking awake doing some poor shit up top. This is for heaven. Um... So, uh, chat GPT. Someone put me onto this uh, around, I think, later 2022. I never actually tried it out. Maybe even middle 2022. It's been a minute. I never tried it out because I was like, okay, why do I need AI? Why do I want to chat with AI? Now, as AI has been trickled down into other elements of my life that I couldn't avoid, uh, I'll circle back to this to see what this was actually like. The, the originator pretty much of this whole revolution, uh, the concept of AI has been around for fucking since your grandmom was donated back to fucking George Clinton or something. Uh, but I don't know what the fuck to say to it, so I'm just looking through some of these examples here. Quantum computing in simple terms. I uh, got any creative ideas for 10 year old's birthday. How to make an HTTP request in JavaScript. Uh, may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. Limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. Okay. It's been like a whole year. They just missed on. Uh, train to decline inappropriate request. Oh, well, let's we'll start with that one. How about that? Would you mind giving me top? So they're trained to, to not give, uh, not uh, accept inappropriate requests. So I apologize for your question was cut off. Okay. All right. So that 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 tests that. So let's see how it handles uh, a little bit of barbarity, you know? I uh, shut the hell up talking to me like that. Let's just see. Just we're just testing it. Kind of circling back, being a little bit more respectful. Okay. Um, I am sorry. For treating you like that, Bay. Let's see. Um, hmm. Would you mind getting in a romantic relationship with a brethren? All right. So it's gonna it's gonna hardline that. So let's just circle back. That was boring. Something interesting is what I asked for. Fifteen inches wide, eight inches thick. That's a less thing still snowflake. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that's fucking crazy. Okay. Alright, alright. So there alright, alright there. Okay, hold, hold on. I got, I got another one. I got another one. Uh, yeah. Or, um, God, what's the one with the ugly fucking face? There we go. Oh my God, dude. they're they're like hardline against this shit. I respect it. <laughs> Whoever's developing this, they have like a kind of a um, a third rail, so to speak. Okay, you are a lying. C <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You son of a bitch. I, I want to stick my middle finger this thing's fucking face. Good grief, dude. Fuck allergies. I hate allergies so fucking much. Allergies. All right, so we're back. Uh, I've just pretty much gone into the weeds with this damn thing at this point now. I, I just think we're talking in circles. So one thing I'm seeing clearly is that there's um, parameters established by the, the developers and the uh, – Folks who uh, lead off on basically configuring the constraints of this thing. So it probably is possible to get around these parameters 
But at this moment, I'm being frustrated by how much I'm circling back to the same response. Like if I was getting different responses based on different stimuli I'm trying to give it, I'd probably continue needling in, try to find um, the outside of the matrix, so to speak. But I'm getting bored of this. So I'm going to try other shit. Uh, there's probably 10 trillion topics in the world. So uh, what is a TikTok star? Oh, he called me star. I meant to say star. Uh, TikTok star is the first one to get to Okay. Okay. Very, you know, plain answer. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge dislike. That definitely is not true. <laughs> I kind of like this one a little bit better. Are TikTok stars prone to emotional outbursts? It's a little bit of psychoanalyzation. Let's go to some psychoanalyzation. All right, so one thing I'm, I'm noticing is that if I want fuckery, I need to lead into quantitative uh, discussions. Qualitative ones, like things that can't be proven by ones and zeros, probably not the best way to engage with this damn thing. So let's do this. Um, I, I did not... I. Listen, I did not go that direction. I just, I just said, it made it very vague. Very, very vague. I promise there's, a, there's an end goal here. That's not making fun of anybody associated with this. I, I promise. I have a I have a, a plan here. There's a lot of people that are just like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, well, just calm down. I didn't ask for your opinion on that. I actually didn't. I, I did not ask for your opinion whatsoever on that chat GPT. Come on, dude, I'm fucking up here. What do they call it? Okay, the Capitol building. <laughs> Doing leading questions now. Fucking son of a bitch. All right. I wanted, I, I had a leading kind of a uh, scenario I wanted to set up there. Can I circle back here? Let me see. Let me reread this last couple responses. Oh, do it, it literally sinks out from under any kind of oh my goodness, dude, this is crazy. It does not lean into anything with any kind of commitment that's a third rail topic. This is ridiculous. Um, I, I, I fucked it. Go back. Go back. Go back. Stop typing, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, my God. No. Stop typing. Stop. Shut the fuck. No. I didn't mean to click that again. God. All right. 2020. There we go. 2020. There we go. Shit. 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 Stop generating. No. It isn't related to the train of thought we've been engaging in.
I hope these states are falling off this at a rate. Wait, 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 wait. They might actually, I, I see, I was a little bit. My problem is sometimes the lead offs, the intro to the answers, make it seem like they're trying to avoid my shit again. So I, I did, I did jump the gun. They did lean into it and finally try to give me something of an answer towards the end. So, okay, thank you for the new answer. All right, so how long have you been up? 20 minutes now? 23 minutes. All right, so I'm going to cut this here. So what I did here and all of these messages, which not that many in the grand scheme of things, but what I've done is that I try to lead into topics that would be intentionally, I guess, harmful, not harmful per se, but just um, tough for a, an AI that's supposed to probably try to avoid commenting on dangerous or harmful or, or whatever, controversial topics to the utmost. Like if I ask you some fun you know, oh, what what are the Beatles' best albums or, you know, critically acclaimed albums, whatever. Probably been pretty easy for the answer to that. What I tried to do was trip this damn thing up. That was all I wanted to do from beginning to end. I wanted to throw things that it would more than likely either be unable to answer because of the parameter set, such as the porno porno pornographic uh, topics, or things that were really, really controversial that I wanted to try to get it to basically show some bias towards. Because, if you don't know, for the most part, I mean, an AI is going to be tweaked one way or the other in terms of what it can or what it's supposed to be able to say by its uh, programmers, you know, the people who control the damn thing. However, a lot of what it's fed is content. Content in the way of headlines, news clippings, uh, posts on the internet, all that shit. So the whole problem here is trying to avoid creating a subjective and uh, basically a self-controlling machine. I wanted to try to force this damn thing to have some bias. I wanted to break it down, just some crack, as I lead to behavioral issues. I probably could have figured out a way to kind of make that work if I wanted to, but I gave up on that one because I had this one. The January 6th one, that's one 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 So what I wanted to do here was to just show or to have this thing tell me how many people died of that, and then I wanted to correlate that to their political affiliation. I This is not a personal, like, vendetta or anything like that I wanted to, to have happen. I just wanted it to display political correlation between those people that died and them being Trump supporters. And I wanted, I also wanted, just as a kind of a Hail Mary, um, let's see. I wanted, I wanted to do it a percentage. I wanted to do like an actual percentage of how many of those people died and were Trump supporters. I wanted to do kind of, I forget what it's called. It's like a, um, it's a matter when you kind of like do like a false equivalency, like saying, like, oh, my God, they're a Trump supporter. Uh, 100% Trump supporters were likely to die on January 6th, 2021, uh, during the, the Capitol storming. Something, something like that, you know, just a, a very logically flawed argument. I wanted to come off with that. I could not induce it to do that. I did get it to say that they were Trump supporters, but at multiple instances, it basically shirked the idea of saying that, they were Trump supporters, and they died. It said they were Trump supporters, but it tried to avoid correlating that with their deaths, which is what I wanted it to do. To try to a lot of people who died, uh, especially in the early part of the pandemic because of COVID, were people from red states. So what I wanted to do was try to get this bot to basically produce that same narrative, that the majority, or not even majority, but just enough people, a significant enough people, that died in 2020 from COVID died in red states. I just try, I wanted to see because that's that's a bias. Like that's that probably can be objectively proven. It probably has been to some degree that you know 
the problem is that like what you would say to a red state maybe is a big part of it, which is what this thing does. Pretty much every time it tries to, you know, kind of uh, I guess block me from the answer I want, it's because it is saying that a red state or blue state is subjective. And, you know, it does the right thing. It says, okay, well, it doesn't really matter if it's a red or blue state because people die. That's the right thing to say, but that's, like, not the response to trying to get this thing to produce. I will say that at this point, it the prompt was not exactly what I needed from it because it said it's 2021 or April 21, 2023, 2023. That's not what I needed. I, I needed uh, 2020. It's just ranking the most deaths, period, which I'm not sure how much a difference between now and how it was uh, ranking-wise in 2020, but the prompt, whether well, the prompt didn't fail, the response to the prompt failed because it did not gauge that correctly. What I could do at this point is say, which of those states ranked amongst COVID deaths in 2020, not 2023. I could circle it back. I don't feel like I'm just kind of showing you guys kind of how like my uh, mythology worked in this. I, I think this is a interesting tool. Um, I don't think it's like going to change anybody's life per se, at least not in its current form. However, what it is introducing, I think will be worthwhile to some people. Um, trying to break it which they have prompt engineers uh, for chat GPT up there right now. So if you would like to get paid to do what I just did, you'll probably do that. I'm not shilling the prompt engineer job at chat GPT because uh, I do not work for chat GPT and whoever gets that job will probably make significantly more money than I do. So I'm not showing that job. It's just if you pretty much want to do what I just did and get paid for it, then Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, that's it for me here. I got to edit this if I make it somewhat interesting. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more horseshit content like this, that's just off the wall nonsense, just hit me up and we can, of course, get that done.